Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mohammed Rifi. I am a professor of mathematics and statistics. I am going to show you in this video how to use the TIGS package to draw electric circuits. In order to draw electric circuits using LaTeX, we choose the article document class, for example. Then use the CircuitX package which is based on the TIGS package. Draw a simple picture of a line that starts at the point 0 and 0 and ends at the point 1 and 2. You start by writing begin ticks picture, and then you end with end ticks picture. Then press the processing button to preview the result. The line looks like this. You can add some options between two square brackets. Here we say that this line represents an arrow. Notice the right slash here and the arrow head and its direction. We can color the line or arrow with a red color. You can draw a dashed line by adding the option dashed. Or even you can make it dotted. Press the processing button to see how it looks like. You can make the line thick. Further, you can make it ultra thick, by writing between the options brackets the option ultra thick. You may change the direction of the arrow. Now, preview the document. Let us now leave some vertical space and then draw some connected lines. Choose the blue color for the lines. Make the line a directed arrow. Here, we go. Now, make the lines thick. Now, let us leave another vertical space and draw a circuit picture with a battery, ammeter, and a lamp. Here is the code. Here, ammeter stands for ampere meter which is a measuring instrument used to measure the current in a circuit. How it looks like. Let us make the battery red and the lamp yellow.
It looks fantastic. These are four points on the picture. Zero and zero. Zero and four. Four and four. And four and zero. For more illustrations, we can write these points on the picture by using the node command. Here is the zero and zero, or origin. It looks fine. We color it blue. Similarly, we draw the remaining points. Edit the coordinates of the points. Leave a vertical space. Now, let us draw some important parts that are used in drawing circuits. These parts include some kinds of resistance, transmission line, closing switch, European current source, European voltage source, an empty diode, full lead, and sinusoidal voltage source. They look like this. Thanks for watching.